good morning everybody and welcome to fast training video number 17 now i think as you guys can see that today's training program is based on running a running program now i am a runner and uh, i do obstacle course racing as well but i'm mainly a runner and one of the problems that i have is not being able to run fast enough with the elite guys and i really want to be there but I just can't run fast enough so in order to do that of course you have to train for it and that is what I'm going to show you guys today now I'm going to give you a five-day training program that is mainly focused on speed endurance okay so that means that your body will adapt so that it can run for faster at uh, longer at high intensity so basically faster for long okay now it must be said firstly that you must only do this program once you have completed a good aerobic fitness endurance base then only you can go up to this this type of program okay now it's going to focus mainly on the weekends because most people work during the week so saturday and sunday monday you will rest and then on a wednesday or on a thursday you will either do an active rest or a total rest okay so the start of the week is a monday then we rest okay now on a tuesday you're going to do a 45 minute run at race pace so you need to decide what what's your race pace if it's five minutes a okay, then you run for five minutes at 45 minutes Ach, five minutes a okay, day for 45 minutes okay if it is four minutes 20 that's what you do you run four minutes 20. okay for me it's about four minutes 20 four minutes 30 so i'm going to try to do that for 45 minutes and you try to rest as little as possible to walk and to rest as little as possible okay on a wednesday the second day of wednesday is going to be speed endurance okay now that is basically we're going to do thousands okay so you're going to run at 85 80 to 85 percent of your maximum pace for a kilometer and then you're going to rest for four to five minutes now the reason you need to rest for four to five minutes is so that you can recover fully so that when you do the next sprint once again you can do it at 85 80 to 85 percent of your maximum pace okay and you're going to do between six between five and seven of these okay then we are at thursday now at thursday you can either decide to rest fully because we have two resting days or you can do an active rest where you go run for half an hour at a very very slow pace i'm talking about six minutes okay it's even slower for for people who are a little bit more unfit or who runs at a slower pace seven minutes okay it is a recovery day you need to recover okay lots of stretching maybe even half an hour of stretching very important then we're going to go on to a friday now friday is hill sprints and it's going to be short hill sprints so you must choose a hill that is between 60 and 80 meters and has an incline of no more than 15 percent okay like a hill like this this is the hill that i choose okay it's not very steep but it kills you because you're going to do it for 45 minutes okay over 30 minutes you're gonna run just a normal warm-up run for fifth for 10 minutes then you're gonna do 30 minutes of heel sprints now the heel sprint is you're gonna sprint up and then full pace so 95 to 100 percent full pace and then you're gonna jog down very very slowly that's your recovery when you get to the bottom you sprint again full sprint and jog back for half an hour and then the last five minutes is just a recovery warm down run for, for five minutes like i said so that's 45 minutes of training and that's the friday okay now for the saturday saturday we are going to be do longer intervals so what that means is once again it's 45 minutes of running and you're going to run for a kilometer a fast pace for a kilometer now that fast pace must be about 20 seconds faster than your race pace okay 
so for me that is about four minutes so i'm going to run a kilometer for four minutes then i'm going to run slower now the slower means 40 seconds slower than your race pace so for me that's about five minutes five minutes ten per k that's your recovery k then again you're going to do another fast k and a slow k a fast k and a slow k for 45 minutes okay now there's no scientific reason behind um the 20 seconds slower and the 40 seconds faster it's just how i've found um it to be effective for me the reason why i want you guys to go faster than your race pace is so that you can stress your body on top of your race pace adaptations okay so you're running faster so your body now adapts so what that means is when you go into the race all of a sudden your race pace is easier than it was the previous time because you've adapted and now you can run faster than you have been running for longer periods of time okay that's important and then on a sunday sunday you're going to do your long run okay that's anywhere between 15 kilometers and 21 kilometers at a long slow distance lsd running okay that means five minutes 30 k okay, five minutes 40 k okay. really you must be able to talk the whole time and not stop once throughout the whole the whole 15 or 20 kilometers okay so it's very easy but it just it keeps it maintains your endurance base that's important because we're doing a lot of sprints and you need to keep your your endurance okay so, okay so just again on a monday you rest okay because you're resting from sunday on a tuesday you're doing race space 45 minutes at race space on a wednesday you're doing thousands muscle endurance six to seven five six seven sprints one kilometer sprints okay four minutes rest five minutes rest on a thursday you're doing active resting or 30 minutes very slowly or you're doing no no running at all you're resting on a friday you're doing short heels 80 a 60 to 80 meter heels at 100 percent jog very slowly back on a saturday you're doing long intervals one kilometer fast one kilometer slow okay and on a sunday you're doing uh, lsd running long slow distance running okay 15 20 kilometers so there you go that is a nice muscle a speed endurance program for one week go and try it guys uh, girls and enjoy goodbye